Congratulations, Costas. Congratulations, Costas. Congratulations, Costas. Congratulations, Costas, for winning the MLN Prize. I'm Yang Tai. I was Costas' first student at MIT. I'm currently a professor at McGill University, and I'm joining Yale in the coming spring. I started working with Costas in 2009, and as many of you know, Costas is never tired of talking about research. It could either be after attending a whole day of talks, a stock, or on our way back from a bar at 2 a.m. That's what I enjoy the most. Congratulations again, Costas. We're all very happy for you. Hi, I'm Alan Dachelbaum. I was Costas' graduate student from 2009 through 2014, and now I'm a research scientist at Renaissance Technologies. I'm so excited for you and for all the recognition that your work is receiving, and I'm honored you've had the chance to work with you. Uh, one thing that really stood out to me in my time as Kosis' student was his fearlessness in attacking really hard, fundamental problems. And I'm so glad to see his successes getting the recognition they deserve. Uh, I just want to say congratulations, wish you all the best, and I look forward to hearing all about your many more accomplishments in the years to come. Hi everyone, this is Matt Weinberg. I was a student of Kostas from 2010 to 2014, and I'm now at Princeton. I was thrilled when I found out that Kostas won the Nevin Lena Prize, but like many of you, I was also not at all surprised. So from the perspective of one of his former students, one of the many reasons that Kostas was a special advisor is that he always had high expectations for us, but he also made sure that we always had the support in order to meet them. A good example of this was our first joint stock deadline. So three days out, we were so close to our first major result together, but we were still struggling to wrap everything up. So Costas cleared his entire schedule for those three days, and he worked three crazy late nights with us side by side in the G6 lounge. So this is just one way in which Costas has been a perfect mentor for me over the past eight years. I know that a great deal of my present happiness is due to his mentorship, and I cannot be more lucky to have him as an advisor. I'm Christos Jamos, and I'm a professor of computer science at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. I was Costas' first Greek student, and I enjoyed working with him in my PhD. I loved his hands-on style of research, and that he never gives up until he finds a solution to a problem he's working on. I remember we would sit together and think for hours until we get either a positive or a negative answer to a question we were discussing. And that's not an easy feat as Costas always asks the hard and important questions in his research. That's why the Nevanlina Prize is well deserved. And I'm sure even greater achievements await for him in the future. My name is Gautam, and I'm a research fellow at the Simons Institute for the Theory of Computing. There are many great researchers out there, but what really sets Costas apart is his lofty goals and his fearless determination when it comes to choosing problems. I remember that as early as visit days, he encouraged me to focus on the big picture questions. And it's clear that this kind of philosophy is what led him to receive the well-deserved recognition of the Nevin Lena Prize. While many would be afraid to step outside of their comfort zone, Costas has no such research anxiety and has made major contributions not only to game theory, but also statistics, machine learning, and applied probability. I'm very lucky to be in his first batch of students and I'm excited to see what he has in store next for us.